um, we have um, debut performance this evening from Christine Shaw. Yes. Who's going to be with um, Artem Kozov, the teacher. And he, we also have the um, interesting phenomenon of third generation, as it were, of Artem's teacher, Peter Sherman, the leader of the um, Fulham, who is also going to be there. So, let's go in some who many of you will know um, as well, who is um, so it's a very homegrown affair. And um, I'm going to start with the bar, double bar in the chapter um, with Christine and Martin. Thank you very much.
we're now going to have um, Ben Ellis' um, Sonata Three States of Play. This was written in 2007 and revised in 2010 for Arte. The work is a journey of dramatic tension, simplistic beauty, and joyous life in three movements. The cathartic nature of the piece for both listener and performer reflects the constant pulling of emotions felt in all of us. This drama is also mirrored in the overall technical difficulties of the world. That was written by Ben Ellen, the composer. He sadly can't be able to Thank you. 
Um, as many of you will no doubt know, uh, Elgar stopped composing in 1919, just after he wrote this piece. He spent the last 15 years of his life um, doing very little, or at least that's what everybody thought. He did actually more or less complete a third symphony, which has since been finished by Anthony Kane. And the Elgar family refused to let anybody see any of the sketches in accordance with Elgar's own wishes on his deathbed. Um, they didn't destroy them as he had wished, but they wouldn't let anybody else see them. And Anthony Payne happened to see a facsimile of two pages and realised if he stuck them together, he more or less had an exposition of the first movement. Twenty years of barraging and letters later, um, they uh, didn't let him have the sketches and he completed it. Anyway, I digress. Um, these, uh, this work and the string quartet, Opus 83, and the piano quintet, Opus 84, were more or less the last pieces that Elgar completed, at least, if not actually worked on. Um, he was disillusioned by the war, he was fed up with the new rise of modern music, modern way of life, cars, living in the city, you know, all that kind of stuff, and he was just sick to death of it. And this was the last time those fires sort of flared up in him in the old, in the old way that he saw as the traditional way um, which he, he, he fought for and stood by. Um, the sonata is uh, it, not long, it's about 15 minutes I guess, but it's certainly um, profound. It's certainly um, full of a deep-seated uh, passion and energy, which although you might say Elgar was on the way, perhaps slightly, there's no...